So hi, uh, so I'm George May, I'm Managing Director of Biobean. Um, and so who is Biobean? Well, we're the world's largest recycler of spent coffee grounds. We work with businesses across the UK to recycle spent coffee grounds and upcycle them into a whole range of sustainable bio-based products for both industrial and consumer end uses. So that covers things like our coffee logs, um, strategically placed over my shoulder, um, which are a domestic heating fuel uh, for wood burners and multi-fuel stoves. Our most recent product launch, which is called InfoCaf, uh, a raw material that's used in a whole range of industrial applications such as brake pads, cosmetics and bioplastics. Um, and of course, the, the sort of the reason for the conversation today, which is our, our natural extract, um, whereby we, we extract the residual flavour compounds from spent coffee grounds and turn them into a natural extract for use back in food and beverage applications. In terms of how we found out about Prime Authority and Assured Advice, uh, it goes back a few years now when we were looking about looking at setting up our, our new supply chain to, to produce the natural extract. Uh, we reached out to our local environmental health officer uh, to ask a question about reclassifying spent coffee grounds uh, as a foodstuff rather than as a waste. Um, that led to a site visit from one of the team and that discussion progressed into talking about primary authority and assured advice and, and what it might be able to offer us as we go through that process. And uh, the rest is really history um, and here we are now. In terms of impact that the Prime Authority uh, relationship has had, it I mean it's been it's been significant really for Biobean. Um, we're a, we're an SME. Uh, you know we have limited resources in, in all respects, and so working with Prime Authority to to obtain assure, assured advice has been a huge help. We've had a single point of contact that's meant that we've been able to get answers more succinctly, more quickly. Um, as people will probably be aware, you know, often if you're trying to deal with governmental or, or sort of quasi-governmental authorities and, and departments, it can take a very long time to sort of cut through the, the bureaucracy and, and get to the right person. And actually having that single point of contact sort of on the inside has really helped us. So whether it was trying to get a response from the Food Standards Agency or, or another department, it, it was much more straightforward and our primary authority officer knew directly who to go to. So for a small business trying to find its way, it offered us that, that guidance, that certainty. Um, it was you know, a non-subjective approach to this. We were able to, to look at it from the outside and, and walk us through the process that we needed to go to. Um, it was, like I said, it has been hugely, hugely helpful and it gave us certainty and clarity. Obviously the, the ultimate aim was the, the assured advice, which, which gives us a legally binding document to, to put to people um, I suppose it also helped reduce our administrative burden in many ways you know we were able to lean on the primary authority officer to, to support us and, and when we weren't sure ask questions and I think that that sort of personal relationship is is particularly helpful for, for small businesses um, and you know from, from a bio beam perspective it enabled us to bring a product to market far quicker than we otherwise might have been able to. It gave the, the, the large companies that we're working with, the major flavour houses and others, confidence in our products, confidence in our processes. Um, and I think that also gave us confidence. You know, we understood that what we were doing was, was the right thing. In many ways, it's a bit different to a, a consultant in that a consultant can give you an opinion and help you get there, but you don't have that certainty that sits behind it that we got from working with primary authority. So, you know, that again, coming back to that, that, that legal certainty was a huge help for us. In terms of unforeseen benefits, I mean, there, there undoubtedly have been quite a number. We, we obviously, when we set out on the initial discussion, it was, can we, can we get the certainty around the processes that we need to put in place to keep the, the coffee grounds a foodstuff uh, in order to, be able to produce the natural extract? And I think that we didn't quite know what that, what that process would look like or, or where it would take us. And, and actually, I think we've learned a great deal. I think the interesting thing in, in that respect is not only have we got the assured advice that we've been able to use to, to take the product to market with certainty, but actually in going through that process, 
we as a as a small business have learned a great deal. Degree of confidence that it's given some of the major global flavour houses in our product is something that whilst we hoped it would do this, you know, actually the way they the way they understand how primary authority assured advice works has been significant for us. Again, as something that we didn't previously know existed, we weren't aware of the potential impact it could have. And actually you start to talk to a few people in the industry and they have heard of it, used it before, understand the value of it. And, it, and it's, you know, it's significant. And I think it's you know, something that I would encourage other businesses to make, make use of. So if we hadn't gone down the route of the, the, the primary authority relationship, I think it, bringing the product to market would have been probably more challenging and probably slower. Um, I think that again, to go back to that point of having a, a single point of contact on the inside, as it were, with, with the ability to access the, the correct information from the correct departments, correct authorities, who already understands the area and is looking at it objectively with a regulator's hat on is very significant both you know as i've said from an internal perspective but also from the external viewpoint of what we were doing and had we not gone down the route of the primary authority relationship i think we would have had to look at consultancy potentially and and all the costs that go with that um and yes that would have got us to uh, you know an opinion of if you do this then i think you're fine but we wouldn't have had the certainty that sits behind it that we have from assured advice and the alternative would have been that we just hammer away on our own you know as an sme with perhaps not the resource to, to pay a, an expensive consultancy for six months um, and it therefore would have taken much longer because we would have been asking all of these different departments to try and get answers from them and then try and stitch those answers together to come up with with our viewpoint and actually what the, the, the prime authority relationship allows is for you to bring those together. Um, so it would have most likely been a longer, slower, and arguably more expensive and possibly more painful experience had we not had this. So my, my, my simple message to, to business to think about prime authority would be to make use of it. You know, I think it's a, it's a fantastic resource. It, it has helped us significantly in bringing our, our natural extract product to market. Um, it is certainly something that we would look to consider again. Should we, should the, you know, should the opportunity or the need arise? Being sort of blunt about it, it's it's a cheap resource. Um, you know, it's it's obviously you have to pay for it, but it is a far far cheaper resource than you will find if you have to pay for consultancy. The legal certainty that it that it gives is is fantastic, um, and I think you know from a, a personal perspective, we found that the people we've dealt with in those teams are interested in what you're doing. They want to help. They're there to to help in a way that sometimes it can feel with, like I say, governmental esque departments. It can sometimes feel that you're pushing water uphill, and it and it has not felt that way with with primary authority. At sixty-five pounds an hour, whatever it is, plus the couple of hundred pounds, you know, annual cost, it it's very good value. You know, that's probably a better way of saying. You know, it's a it's a very good value resource. And whereas actually with this, it's the the ease of it's the ease of communication, the ease of access of primary authority that that helps in many ways. I think the the only other things that I I would add are that you know again, I'm really just to highlight that. The, the primary authority relationship for us gave us certainty about what we were doing, but it also gave us clarity about how to go about doing it. We were able to, to check our processes that we were planning to put in place through the primary authority relationship and that and with our primary authority officer. And that, that allowed us, you know, that, that gave that certainty of what we were doing was the right thing to be doing in the right way at the right time with all the right checks and balances you know from a, a hygiene perspective or whatever else it might have been in a way that working with a consultant wouldn't have been the same you know we would we were able to engage and, and talk directly to 
environmental health to training standards at the right time about certain aspects of the process. And again, I think it comes back to that that single point of contact, being able to then sort of farm out and engage with different different colleagues across across different departments at the right time and pull it all together that really facilitates being able to 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 you know bring the project to, to life in a in a straightforward manner. My name is Mark Oliver. I work for Cambridge from Peterborough Trading Standards and we provide primary authority to a whole wide range of businesses from very large national international to small SMEs and we've been working with George and Biobean since 2018. Um, one of the reasons we do um, primary authority work is the breadth of, of experience it can give officers and, the, and to build their knowledge base. Um, George came with some particularly um, interesting questions in a grey area of legislation which was there was great uncertainty so it enabled our officers to research that legislation and provide supportive advice to a business that was growing and, and needed that um, support and it was a, really a win-win for both parties um, we were able to broaden our knowledge base george was able to benefit from the advice and i think it, it encapsulated the the real benefits of a primary authority partnership where we can work um, with commercial confidentiality, which can be very important to a business when they're starting off, um, to get that advice from a regulator who they will know if things do go wrong could come knocking on the door saying, oh, well, um, there's an issue here. Clearly, businesses want to avoid that. They want to get things right first time, and we're very much there to help them. As an authority, um, we very much want to support um, business and innovative business, um, especially where there are grey areas of legislation. And that's where the primary authority partnership and the assured advice comes in. Because of the grey areas of law, we can give that assured advice where a business can rely upon that advice, wherever it trades um, within the UK. And we will stand behind that business. Um, and that can be very, very important, something you can't get from a consultant. That we act as a single point of contact for businesses through primary authority. So if there is an issue, um, another authority can come to us and we can provide all the information they need um, and any concerns they may have. And obviously we can address those concerns directly with the business and help regulate the marketplace in a very cost-effective way.